How y'all doing? I want to welcome y'all to Strawberry Space, where we discuss transgender related topics. Leah Thomas, the transgender swimmer who, after competing for years as a man, decided all of a sudden I identify as a woman. I want to go into the female locker room and I'm going to win national championships using my physical advantage. Leah Thomas is a freak. We've known this the entire time. All you have to do is look at Leah Thomas and you can tell that. But now it's getting even worse than anyone could have possibly expected. The person that's presenting themselves as, I just identify as a woman and I feel like this is where my place is. I need to be in the female locker room. Now we're finding out that Leah Thomas is staring at women in the locker room. That Leah Thomas is just flopping their dick out all the time right in front of these females. And it's pretty disgusting and disturbing. Hey, Strawberry Space. Oh, trans men and women, y'all not gonna like me today. How y'all doing? We're talking about Bethany Hamilton, the woman who is a legendary surfer in the swim community who got attacked by a shark and is still holding down the game with one arm. So the site um, credited was the Sports Wars Freaks. Okay. So I was ready to drag him. Because I, I really feel like to the trans girls, like, they don't like us. So why are we even, we've dealt with this before, just like in the Vermont um, with the basketball team, that YouTube video I did. But maybe it's time for us to just let us have our own league because the campfire is really turned to fireworks. Um, I had no idea on the biological standpoint how much suffering uh, Miss Hamilton has gotten because she spoke her mind, and I and I on this channel is I project and vent my you know experiences and beliefs and speak my mind, and I I'm I'm free to do that. But for her to be called a hater and a bigot, even though she drops so many caveats and disclaimers, I mean. She has gotten some demonetization to her career, and she's taking the stand by saying she's going to step down. Now, mind you, she hasn't never competed with a trans woman before. She just said if this continues to go on, she's going to step down. So, of course, you know it did. So now she's publicly making a stance like, I'm not competing, you know what I'm saying, with them. And I feel like, you know... Weirdly and oddly enough, I never thought I'd see it in a cisgender's point of view, but I think that that's her right. Now, she the one that's losing money now because she not competing. But please, all the trans girlies, doggy paddle to the front because if we're going to be in our own lane, if it's like five cisgender women and only one trans girl, y'all can't let her win by default over and over and over. So give us some competition too. So... The Geeks and Gamers podcast was referring to Leanne Thomas. And the only alibi I'm only giving this against my community is because I don't know if she's trans or not, but it was it was told for me that she was pretending to be trans. I don't know how true or not that is if she came in as a uh, identified male and now couldn't keep up and now she's identifying with trans just to go against the women to win i don't know if that's the story or she's transitioning on the back end i'm just saying that you know girls we have been nothing but friendly to um you know what i'm saying our counterparts and they've made it clear and clear time and time and time again that they don't care for us why sit in someone's face that doesn't like you i mean we have our own resources let's go but i mean I, this is still fresh you know people still have to remember this is a new thing we're not something that i mean even though we've been around for years and years and years like the last two or three years it's been mainstream i think that you know, I'm starting to not be opposed to it. But in my defense, Strawberry Space, I do want to say, like I said in every video, it seems like I'm a broken record over and over and over. You can't say 
it's an unfair advantage if you swim with men and now you don't want to swim with trans women because you're afraid you might lose. And then when you don't win, now it's an unfair advantage. So um, I really do wish that she gets the support she needs in her own community. She was saying on TikTok that Many of her other friends were afraid to speak up and she's the only one that's doing it. So I'm very sad to hear that she feels like, you know, there are sidebar conversations behind closed doors that no one's afraid to speak up. I mean, the last thing we want to do is silence anyone. But, um, you know, that was working with work for, you know, the time being and. I hope she gets the respect and accolades that she has gotten from her community and from the medals that she already won. So, you know, it ain't nothing I can do, but trans girlies, don't let this, you know, scare you into not swimming. And until they find out what to do with us, you know, we're just going to keep swimming. Do you think trans women and trans men are strawberry space if we swim with the cisgender individuals and let them win? Do you think it would be an argument then to pose that it's unfair? Like if we just give it, but we don't give it our all, do you think if... There was, like, remember that movie Pride with Terrence Howard? Do you think if it's a trans-only league of swimmers, do you think it would be safe? Because you see people shooting up these gay clubs and, you know, um, coming to these gay ballroom things and harming us. Do you feel like the fact that it's intermingled is our only thing of safety? What do you have to say about this? Because I'm just turning it back into my reporter mode and I'm giving an unbiased opinion. I'm just reporting the topics. But I just feel like, you know, what, what saddens my heart is that we do advocate for all women. The Roe versus Wade trans was there to have a shoulder to have the biological girls to cry on, women's suffrage, voting. We've been around for a long time. We've been out for a minute. So now that it's us, I don't want biological women to feel like we're replacing them or trying to take their place or step on any toes or you know especially because the number one thing a lot of women say oh well we've accepted you with open arms we fought for your rights along with our rights and now you're trying to go against us and i don't think that's what's happening here but if it is i really don't want um miss hamilton to feel that way and i really do feel like she's done an amazing job for a woman with one arm but i want this because you know really this is just how she feels right about because now it's in her sector when it was basketball she didn't care when it was football she didn't care but now that this is in her community in her backyard now she has an issue and problem with it and so I mean, she got one arm. You know what I'm saying? She's she's already killing the game. So I wonder what's going through her mind. It's always nice to sit back and watch someone um, and how they think about things. So, you know, I just say that, you know, we will accommodate to the rules. And I, I just pray for her personally that she never... Yes, because she could have some transgender friends for all we know. It's just she just feels this way about our issues. So I am trying to be a little sympathetic and empathetic to her feelings, but not turning my back on my community. But at the same time, I really do want her to know that we trans people mean absolutely zero percent no harm. So this has been Strawberry Space and thank you.